last week, we saw a very, very important moment as we saw a new Gold Bowl champion in the form of Neil Diamond Cutter. But tonight, it's a little different. Uh, as you've known, on Machete Pro number 8, we introduced our first ever all-women's wrestling card that night, Come Together. Tonight, it's gonna get a sequel, because we're fair like that. This is Machete Pro number 12, Come Together 2. My name, of course, is Pauly B, the owner, announcer, commentator for Machete Pro, and we got a pretty good match card tonight. The main event, of course, is Naomi taking on Jade Cargill, that bitch, Julia taking on Bailey, and we also have the Battle of the Singers, Maki Ito taking on Jillian Hall. But also, we have, of course, the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kairi Zayn, teaming up to fight against two former members of Queen's Quest, Io Shirai and Konami. Uh, Utami Hayashida is taking on Bianca Belair, Paige taking on Bull Nakano, uh, another tag team match. Uh, this match you could say is the a horsewoman for the horsewoman match. Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke taking on Becky Lynch and Ruby. Or, um, excuse me, huh, not Ruby. Uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. And of course, as I just mentioned her name, we're gonna open up the show with Ruby Riot taking on Lita. I don't know why I mixed those two names up, but I did, and I kind of feel bad. I'm just gonna leave that in the recording, then. Why not? Fuck it, we'll do it, we'll do it live. I kinda actually wanna do, like, a Twitch stream of Machete Pro one day, but because of how weird Machete Pro, like, not Machete Pro, but, like, Fire Pro runs in this, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, because I've streamed Fire Pro before, and it fucking tanked during the stream, and I'm not sure if it'll repeat that again or not, but we'll, we'll see when it happens. Uh, but... I kind of just prefer doing this, makes my life easier, but enough talk, let's get into it. Let's go, actually before we do get into it, let's look at the rules here. We've updated the rules a little bit, uh, as expected, we are bringing in countouts, as mentioned, uh, last week, the board of directors made to an agreement that countouts will be on for all Machete Pro matches, 20 count of course, going into that, uh, everything else should be about the same, of course, your referee for this night is Mio Shirai, and so yeah, that's about it, let's do it to it. It's gonna be a very, very impressive match here, I, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be a great show. The crowd is electric, and they are loud, I gotta turn that down I think, that's gonna be loud, here comes Ruby Riot though, Come walking down the ramp, very much uh, former OVW Women's Champion, of course. A lot of accomplishments to her name. Not quite rocking the new name, but, you know, sometimes we got to do their own thing here. Not quite ready for that. And here comes Lita. I mean, do I need to introduce Lita to anybody? It's Lita. I mean, she's a legend in her own right. A former, multiple-time Women's Champion. I... I mean, she's a pioneer of women's wrestling, very much known for her moonsault teams up, and her team with uh, Team Extreme with the Hardy Boys as well. But here we go, first contest of the night here, starting off with a lockup, Lita taking advantage and goes for an arm drag to Ruby Riot, and a big old tackle there. No, uh, no live in the corner for Ruby here, which is surprising enough. Irish whip by Ruby though. Good old. Lock up here and a takedown. Ruby Riot on the advantage, but Lisa reverses, taking back that advantage. Over, oh my God, going for an arm submission doesn't get it though. Looks like it looked like Lita couldn't quite get that hold, but I mean it's still kind of hurt. She's going for it again. Mio Shirai on, very much on the nose there, going straight into it. A lock up there and a going for the arm. And a snap mirror as well. Ruby Riot. On the advantage right now. Lita taking that advantage as soon as I say it, too. Roll up in cover. Oh, rope break, though. Gotta, gotta keep, gotta make sure, you know. You would think with the veteran experience of Lita, she would have seen that. But I guess not. Big punch to the gut. Ruby Riot, you know, is no slacker either. She's been wrestling for almost a whole decade, as far as I know. Big bumping into each other. 
Lita, of course, as I've mentioned, a legend, a pioneer in women's wrestling here. As she goes for kicks to the gut. Roll up again, out of the ropes. Only gets a one, though. Ruby really not giving her the benefit of the doubt. She ducks the clothesline, though. That veteran experience for Lita kicking in for this matchup. Lita taunting, throwing Ruby on the outside. Of course, 20 count on the outside. You get counted out, you lose. That's just how it is. Ruby right with a chop across the chest there and a suplex as well. Dragging Lita from the ropes. Looks like she was going to go for something there, but Lita counters. Lita back on the advantage as well. Goes for a suplex. Cover. No. Only getting a one. The fans love this. They're clapping for it. Very much respectful for these women tonight. Whoa. Big old crossbody. The Ruby says, I will just simply duck under. As she trips up Lita going for that drop toe hold. Right, elbow to the upper back. Oh my god, going for that choke. Oh my goodness, I think we saw Shayna do that last the last uh, come together show. As far as I remember, I think she actually beat Ronda Rousey with it, of course. The other two hor four horsewomen, uh, Jasmine Duke and Marina Schaefer, are here tonight. They're actually going to be in the next match. That's surprising shit, huh? Lena throwing Ruby to the corner there. Taking her time as well, just kind of not giving Ruby some respect here, I guess. And a big hurt to Rana by Ruby Riot. Throwing. Oh, knees to the gut. Referee not really getting into the action. Very much just staying away and watching it go on. Swinging neckbreaker by Lita. Of course, your referee, as usual for these come together shows, is Mio Shirai. Oh, roll up pin. Mio. Oh, two count. And a Boston Crab by Ruby Riot. S almost to the center of the ring there. And it doesn't tap out, though. Does not give up. The crowd is electric. You can hear them right now. Big old double knees to the stomach. Oh, going for the chokehold. Ruby's still in it, though. Very much still in it. A Sue play by Ruby right there she flips Lita right on her stomach. Big ol' takedown there. And a snap suplex as well. Cover. Center, almost center of the ring. No, doesn't get it. Still in it. Lita going for the moonsault. In the ropes though. Very much, as I mentioned, very well known for that moonsault. Super kick by Ruby. And a big ol' kick by Lita. Irish whip to the ropes. Good, good, old, good move there. Oh, God. Cover bomb cover. Whoa, that could have been it. It goes for it again, but the same reversal. It's the same result as well. Punch upside the head. A swinging neck breaker. And a moonshot. Still in the ropes, though. Cannot quite get it in that center of the ring. This crowd is loud right now. They are cheering for this matchup here. Ruby shown to be tired. Drug as you like with, though. Goes for that leg. Roll up. Cover. Two. Whoa, still in it. Very much still in it. Ruby Rye going up to the top here and up. Goes for that double knees to the stomach again. Lita. Over a trade of power bomb. Cover. Two. No. Ruby Wright still has some fight. Of course, openers here in Machete Pro. They've been crazy. They've been absolutely nuts. Roll up. One. Two. No. Still in it. Still very much in it. Lita hitting the ropes there looked like she was gonna go for something just did not get it though powerbomb cover is this it no two count by the referee there making that saying that it was two bunch of the gut powerbomb cover two very close for lita there all in the ropes though Seems like that could be the one move. Seems it's the one move that could put away Lita, but Ruby just can't quite get it. Roll up by Lita. <laughs> Lita picks up the win. The veteran, the legend herself, getting that roll up win. Oppressive comeback for Lita here. We could see her return here in Machete Pro. You never know. Maybe it will be on another. Maybe it will be on another show. You know, you never know. Maybe. maybe. 
And then I'll go to our next contest, our first tag match of the night. Of course, this is billed as the Horsewomen versus Horsewomen. Not quite the match that people would want it to be, but... You know, I mean, it is what it is. It's still Horsewomen versus Horsewomen. As we're gonna get Jessamine Duke here. Taken on. I almost forgot to fucking do this. That's my bad. Wrestling is... I don't know what the fuck I was gonna say. I was gonna say wrestling's fake, but then it's like, what the fuck does that gotta do with anything? I just say shit for the sake of saying shit sometimes. I'm just gonna wear the mask. I like the mask. Wear a mask, everybody. It's There's still a fucking pandemic going on. As I now look for the other horsewomen. They should be right here. I'll be I'll cry if they're not. I will do it. Okay, they're here. I'm gonna go with this one. I like this look. This look was... I think her Extreme Rules one where she got fucking... Shat on by Corbin. Not exactly shat on, but you know. Ah, uh, we're gonna go with this one. I like this look. It's a good look. I don't think there's an up... Is there an updated... Charlotte? By any chance? I don't know if there is. Well, I mean, it doesn't fucking matter now, because... We're gonna go to our next contest here. Horsewomen versus Horsewomen. Duke, Shafir, Lynch, Flair. Let's fucking do it. Of course, this does have Tornado. Because actual normal tag matches take fucking forever in this game. But coming out right now is Shafir and Duke. Very much uh, very much in the rookie years of their career right now. And not, not really doing a lot. But, you know, it is what it is. Walking down to the ring, though, as mentioned... Part of the four horsewomen, along with Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, who we saw last week, open up uh, the last Come Together show in a submission match. And coming out right now is the other four horsewomen, very much known for the wrestling. A lot of accomplishments between those four women, especially these two here. I mean, one of them is a multiple, almost 12-time, 14-time women's champion. Megan Lynch, a 5-time women's champion as well. Uh... And of course, we've, we've seen Sasha Banks as well in Machete Pro. And tonight, we're seeing Bailey as well in the semi main event as she takes on Julia. But here we go. Mio Shirai starting. Saying, starting the bell. Going for that arm immediately is Jessamyn Duke. But Lynch and Shafir going after each other. And double team to Shara Flair. Becky kind of hesitating to help. Just kind of what it is. This isn't really the first time. That these two have ever really teamed up. These two were a team around uh, 2015, along with Paige, known as Team PCB, also formerly known as Submission Sorority. But I don't think we want to go for that rope break, though. Doesn't quite get it. Uh, but th these two really live up to the term of uh, best friends, better enemies. They've put on very much classic matches in the past years. You're very much seen as the pinnacle of women's wrestling right now, or just wrestling in general. Cover immediately by Shafir, but doesn't doesn't quite get it. Duke and Shafir, of course, not really a lot. They they haven't really done a lot as a team on a lot of national on the national scene. Uh, they were, of course a team in NXT along with Shayna Baszler, and that was really about it. You never really saw them again. They will exchange Charlotte and Duke going out of here. Lynch and Shafir going back at each other here. Oh, going for that arm. Go rope break, though. That that experience, the ring experience of Becky Lynch there. And a big old suplex by Lynch to Duke, but Shafir comes back and just arm drags her. Big old suplex. Five minutes have gone in this matchup. And we got some great matches here tonight, of course. As mentioned, the main event, Naomi taking on Jade Cargill, Julia taking on Bailey. Uh, we have, of course, the Battle of the Singers, Maki Ito taking on Jillian Hall. Uh, the Kabuki Warriors reuniting once more to, to take on Io Shirai and Konami. And, of course, we have Utami Hayashida taking on Bianca Belair, Paige taking on Bold Nakano after this as well. A very good match card. Very impressive. down uh, Shafir going for that tank down there Shafir really showing she's gassed right now 
All it could take is just one critical move to knock out and to make the match. It was what we saw last week. Um, Shadow Pro number 11. Don't forget the Joker. We saw Neil Diamond Cutter achieve his dream of becoming the world champion as he defeated Ace Austin, knocking him out in less than 10 minutes. Very much a second in less than 10 minutes. There's a count out as well. Duke looking like she's not going to let... Oh, she's tired. No, you got to get in that ring, Duke. Yeah, she was about to get herself counted out there. Very much taking her time. Had to take a breather, I guess. I think she's fine right now, so maybe it was the best idea. I don't know. Whatever works, I guess. Big chop block by Charlotte Flair. Of course, Charlotte Flair's second generation wrestler. Her father is, of course, Ric Flair. Has a lot to live up to that name, and it's I... I'd have to say she is definitely up to that name for the benefit or detriment of others. Big ol' suplex by Charlotte there. Jeez, I've never really seen her do that. Charlotte usually loves to be put in the middle of a lot of things. Just get in the way, and it shows with that exchange with Duke and Lynch. Oh my god, going for that arm. Doesn't get it. It looked like Shafir was going for submission, but she immediately broke it up. Big ol' exchange between Shafir and Charlotte with Shafir winning that exchange. Rolling up against the ropes here. A lot of everyone's just crowding against each other. Big takedown by Duke there. Very much has that wrestling experience. Big ol' kick to the gut as well. Oh, we're seeing figure eight. Oh, but Duke right uh, immediately on that. She knows how brutal that move is. There's a lot of not a lot of people have gotten out of that hold before. You know, it's very it's a very hard move to get over. Armbar, Becky Lynch hesitating to stop the the hold. Just would rather taunt. As I mentioned again, very much Charlie doing the same thing. Very much living up to that to the phrase of best friends. Holy shit. Best friends and better enemies. Big Boston Crab there. Center of the ring. Could have gotten it, but did not get it. Cover. Oh, Duke is, breaks up the pin. Cover by Shafir. Oh, only getting a two. What the hell is this? Holy shit, what was that? A suplex? Big, big words. All right, I think there's a move there. Pit, bumping into each other is Lynch and Duke. Very clumsy. A big old takedown by Duke there. Taking her time, not going for the pin. Why was she not armbar? Look at Lynch going for a sick kick, but missing. <laughs> but she gets it though. You no, know, if it doesn't work, try, try again. And that's what her cover by Shafir. Oh, figure four headlock. We've seen that submission before. That is the one move that helped Michael Sanamora become the first Gold Bowl champion. Here, of course, we saw it. Uh, Machete Pro number six. Uh, all the marbles. Of course, she would lose that title in the, the next next week, or the week after that, to Ace Austin. Ace Austin getting also being the only champ to get really a successful title defense, beating Nick Gage at number Machete Pro number nine. The bell tolls. Big ol' suplex cover. Oh, Lynch. Duke kicks out of it. Not Lynch. What the hell? Oh my God. It, a T-bone? That's a good suplex. I don't know if that's a T-bone, but that, that that was an impressive suplex by Marina Shafir there, the supernova herself. Oh, oh. Big old that a exploder there. Holy shit, Duke just or Shafir just threw her goddamn self. Twenty minutes have passed in this matchup. These two not letting up whatsoever. They are beating the absolute dog shit out of each other. It's a, it's a matter of pride. It's a matter of roll up by Lynch or by Flair. Duke. Oh. Shavir kicks out, thankfully. Covered by Lynch. I Moonsault. Cover already. Mio Shirai taking her time. I mean, all right. She's only one person, so I can't blame her. Looking for that work in the arm. A very, a very smart strategy by Shafir. You know, you're working that arm of Becky Lynch. She's not going to go for the disarmor. I know. Well, never mind. She's going for disarmor. That's it. Becky Lynch and Charlotte win the match there. 
As soon as I said it. Now I guess it wasn't a bold strategy then. I'm an asshole. You know. Make me look like a damn fool. I can't believe that. Well, there you go. A 22 minute match. Disarm her. Cent almost center of the ring there. The experienced Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair pick up the win. We're going to our next contest here. It's Paige taking on Bull Nakano. This one's going to be an interesting match. This one is a... Uh, it's gonna be something. As I now look for Paige. Where is Paige? I should have one. There she is. I almost skipped her. Uh, we're gonna go with the classic. We're gonna go with that. I think that's a, that's a good look. Gotta go for the. Gotta go for the classic. Uh, she should be on her WWF. Yeah, 90s. Uh, Bull Nakano. We're gonna have her rep. We're gonna have a rep the this. That's a good look. I like this look. It's, it's got an awesome look. I mean, I'm not sure if this actually... Ah, I'll keep that off for now. I'll turn it back on for the next tag match. Anyways, going to our next contest. Our uh, fourth match of the night. Or no, excuse me. Third match of the night. I can't count. Uh, Paige, Bull Nakano. Let's do it. I'm gonna go get my charger. I should really charge my laptop before I record these, huh? But... Coming out first is, of course, Paige, uh, a second-generation wrestler known in the night, f known from the f from the Knight family, a uh, quite a bit of a prestigious family of sorts. She's very much been seen as the star of that family as well. I mean, really, the only one I think anyone would really know. Plus, everyone else in that family is probably a fucking scumbag. But regardless. Coming up next is a legend, much much like Lita. I mean, how can do I need an introduction for Bull fucking Nakano? I, the, I, <coughs> I mean, I've never seen her before. You're in for a treat, ladies and gents. Bull Nakano is very much a legend in Joshi wrestling. Uh, very much influenced a lot of the modern day Joshis you see nowadays. And here we go with this contest, starting off immediately with an Irish whip and a run to the ropes. Big old double axe handle to the back. Bull Nakano taking advantage, not letting Paige rest up. Paige getting back into it, though. This is very much a lot of people like to believe this is also a dream match of sorts. A lot of these matches you see tonight are a lot of uh, matches that a lot of people want to see. Uh, there was, of course, a thread on Twitter uh, talking about dream matches, and I kind of looked through it. And I was like... All right, I think I can book these. So a lot of these are some dream matches, a little combination, a lot of changes because of certain people. But <clears throat> regardless, I, I, it's, it's, it, it helped me book that. That thread helped me book. So I appreciate everyone for doing that suggestions. I uh, appreciate, I forgot who the original poster is. But anyways, Bull, a pile driver by Bull Nakano. And she's got a fork. Just busting out the fork there. Bull Nakano going for running, running stomp of sorts there. Just kind of really, uh, I don't know what they're going for there. Uh, going for exchange between between these two. Bull Nakano's right back up though. Ch oh, she's just crunching at, just biting Paige and busted her open. Oh my god. She goes for it again, opening up that wound even more. Oh my God, that is that is very much unsanitary. I mean, we've seen uh, we've seen Azuka, and the early at Machete Pros was a big fat fucking cheater. Just really was just disgusting. But Bull Nakano, I don't know. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Someone like Bull Nakano, very much known for her power, very much known for the power. And her strength, but she can she can do some top ropes. Of, oh my God! Just plants Paige on that head. Paige, very well known for having neck issues. I don't know if that's gonna affect her in any way, shape, or form here. Paige going for a fallaway slam. Chop across the head and another one. Paige going for the shoulder tackle, lifting up Boldacano yet again and working that arm. Bolnacano and Paige, well known for a certain submission. Paige calls it the PTO, the Paige tap out, a very brutal submission. And I'm not, I don't think anyone's really ever gotten out of before. 
as far as I remember, very much a match under pile driver working on that neck roll up cover. This is it. No, very much a two count right there. Bolnacano getting tripped up over. Oh my god, a brain buster, fisherman brain busters of sorts there. Roll up cover by oh no, room break. DDT really just planted that the crowd here is excited cover yet again the rope break for Bull Nakano another DDT And she goes for it again, but again, she needs to pull away bull from the ropes fisherman brain buster right there No, you're pulling her to the fucking ropes. Oh, okay. Never mind Bull Nakano back on the advantage Page I, I think I think she might not be seeing her vision might be not as good you know, blood probably got in her eye. Big ol' knee to the fucking head, though. And a big ol' northern light suplex. Yeah, it's still in it, though. Page. Back on the advantage here. This crowd is clapping. Oh, my God. <laughs> Catching DDT there. What the fuck? That's awesome. Oh, my. Oh, almost went for the leg drop off the top. The I, I call it the Tennessee Jam. But it's kind of what it is, but... Doesn't quit it. Crunching at her again. Let's go of it, though. Page back on the advantage here. Dragging Bull. Doesn't go for the rope. Doesn't go for the pin, though. A pin and a big boot right there. Close. Oh, my God. Lariat. My God. And a fork again. Someone get that damn fork away from her. Christ. And a back fist by Bull Nakano. And I, I page just counter. This is a back and forth match here, ladies and gentlemen. This is only a third match of the Northern Light Suplex. Is that it? That's it. Bull Nakano picks up the win. Aurora Borealis, indeed. <laughs> that is an old meme. Holy shit, I can't believe I made a Steam Tams reference. Let's fucking go. Big ol' Northern Lights. I don't know, I can't think of a witty comeback involving Steam Tams and that finish, but... Anyways, going to our next contest here. Utami Hayashida taking on Bianca Belair. I, for sure, totally botched that last name, and I'm probably gonna get people who... People are gonna be pissed at me for uh not saying the right name but i mean i'm white so can i take an except is that good enough i is that, i think that would explain a lot yeah we good with that all right well jokes aside here we're gonna what is the one there we go this is we gotta go with the classic this is a fucking classic look here uh keep everything the same all right so here we go with our fourth Halfway through the show here, Utami taking on Bianca Belair. Let's do it to it. We saw Bianca before here. Uh, I I don't know. Was she the main? I don't know if she was the main, but coming out first is Utami. Very much, I believe, a member of Queen's Quest currently. Funny enough, we all have two former members later tonight, but Utami getting in the ring, of course... A currently, as of this recording, is the World of Stardom Champion, otherwise known as the Red Belt. But here comes, of course, Bianca Belair, former SmackDown Women's Champ, has winner of the 2021 Women's Rumble, a very much an impressive athlete, and the world of wrestling has been praising. Has had to feud with the likes of Sasha Banks, Bailey, and I think Carmella as well. But I don't know if that was a feud. That was more so they wrestled. But here we go. Starting off here. Punch across the face. Belair taking advantage. Big old chop though. And an elbow to the back of the head. Just locking up between these two. Not happening right now. Bianca with the forearm to the back. Camel clutch already by Bianca. Uh, not not a yeah. not a normal move you see with the EST here. You know, 
Tommy going for a shoulder tackle there. And a big ol' suplex by Belair. Any right there. I gotta fix my headphones. Oh my god, suplex cover! I'm only getting a one though. Referee Mia Shirai right on the action. Of course, as I mentioned, Utami covered by Bianca in the middle of the ring. No. Utami, currently the World of Stardom Women's cha or World of Stardom Champion, not Women's Champ. What the fuck? Uh, defeated, funny enough, Mayu Watani to win the title. Uh, we've seen Mayu Watani here before. Last week was in the main, or not last week. Uh, the first come together where she was in the main event along with Kairi Zane and Io Shirai. Very much picking up that win. Bianca, I think we actually saw her last time fighting uh, Jade Cargill, that bitch, in, uh, not in the main event. We saw her the last Coming Together show. It took a lot of kisses of death to put away a Jade Cargill. Bianca working on the arm of Utami. And a big ol' suplex by Utami there. Really focus on it, zoom in on every mistake and capitalize. Covered by Bianca. No, doesn't doesn't get it. A big old clubbing forearm to the back. Tommy back on the advantage here. I tell her to just get up, fight. I'm gonna fight you, fucking dork or something. I don't know. I don't know what she said there, but I imagine it, it, the gesture said getting up, stalling suplex. Bianca showing off that strength, that cross fit strength there. Big ol', big ol' close line. Oh my, oh my God! Holy shit! Really working on the leg there. Tell her to, why would you tell her to get up? You took her down, you idiot. Oh, backbreaker. And a two leg drop to the back of the head. Kiss of death. Oh, thrown to the, oh my god, to the outside. <laughs> Throwing clubbing forearm by Utami there. Big drop kick. They gotta get in that ring or this will be a double count out. Is this, what the hell? Oh, you guys gotta get back in the ring. What the hell? Bianca picks up the first ever count out win. Takes advantage. Holy shit. I mean, okay. I never thought we would get a count out victory here, but Bianca gets that count out win in 10 minutes. Sheesh. You, Tommy. Got very much. I don't know if that was the plan by Bianca there, but gets the win, gets the job done. Now I'll go to our next contest here. Uh, the Kabuki Warriors taking on Io Shirai and Konami. Very much as I mentioned in the last match, uh, former members of Queen's Quest is Io and Konami. As I now look for people. Let me look for who the fuck I want. Asuka, of course, we've seen her plenty of times. When that was at the uh, first ever Come Together show uh, defeating... Actually, did she defeat or did she lose to Gigatsu? I'm not sure, but... I don't like that. She didn't have a match against Kagetsu. Who the fuck was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, who the hell? Uh, Kairi Sane here. Can't really get them to match, but... Fuck it, we'll do. This will do. I gotta go find... I gotta find people. It sucks. I gotta, I gotta put effort. I don't, that's not the one I want. Where is the other Io Shirai? Did I just skip over or is there just only... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, no, different person. Where the fuck is the other... E There's two Io Shirais I'm pretty sure we have here. Where the hell is it? Because this is the one... This is that one. Where the hell... Oh, oh I'm stupid as fuck. Alright, great. Oh, we got 
gonna go look for Konami. And there she is. Only with one attire. So no one's matching. So we're gonna go we're gonna get right into Gabuki Warriors. Eo Shrine Konami. Let's do it to it here. And here comes, of course, Kyrie Zane and Asuka. Also known as Kyrie Asuka. Good team name. Really taking their time here. I'm yawning. And here comes Konami and Io Shirai. I'm not sure if these two were actually really members of Queen's Quest. Uh, at the same time, but they are former members of the group Konami of course is a part of NXT <laughs> as judged by that loco And here we go starting off here Eo going after Asuka now going after Kyrie. Big drop kick by uh, Kyrie there. Let's go running the ropes there. Of course, uh, Konami is a student of uh, Asuka, weirdly enough. Was trained by her. Asuka been in the game for a long time. Big ol' elbow by Asuka there. Of course, three members here uh, Asuka, Eo, and the referee here, Mio Shirai, four. Form their own group here uh, called Three Tails. Oh my god, a roll up and a double stomp by Eo there. Of course, as I've mentioned even last week, Mio Shirai, despite the relation, has promised to not be biased when it comes to this. She's very much doesn't want to be biased towards that big ankle lock. Does Asuka have her? Did not have her for three minutes. Didn't even get my joke in. Alright, you know, cool. Kicks to kicks to the corner by Asuka there, and a big ol' big ol' suit play by Kyrie there, really taking advantage of this. Oh, oh armbar. Will Will Shirai tap out? No. Of course, after this, we're gonna have the <laughs> probably the match that I've been waiting for personally, uh, the battle of the singers, Maki Ito taking on Jillian Hall. Uh, Julia taking on Bailey, and in the main event, Jade Cargill, that bitch, taking on Naomi. Very impressive. Oh my god, cover? No. Oh, no, for Codebreaker. Kicks to the face there. Oh, good, good turn, Karana. Big ol' elbow to the upper back. There. Konami sending Kyrie to the corner. Double drop kick. And a kick there. This is a back and forth match here. It's hard to keep it's hard to keep up. I mean there's a lot happening. Oh Neo or uh Asuka throwing herself. Hey, Tonami there, what does she call that, though? Does she call that the rear view? I know Naomi does, but does Asuka call that the rear view? What does she call it? I guess it's just a hip attack, and she doesn't call it anything. Big old fucking roundhouse kick by Asuka there, going after her protege. Yo, whoa, was looking like backslide! Holy crap, that's impressive reversal. Kyrie's on the outside, better get in that ring. We've are, we've seen one count out uh, victory here tonight. Really enough, Konami now sent to the outside. Holy fuck! Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> Both of them are on the outside. If they do, if they don't get back in, this is a draw. Guys, you gotta get back in the ring. Konami! Whoa, very close. What is this big old kick? Cover. 
No, Kyrie kicks out right there. Roll up in, only gets a, does not get it though. Goes for the submission. Nosebreaker, Codebreaker by Asuka. And a Fisherman Suplex countering as well. What the, oh, double team there. Kabuki Warriors are, are former tag champions though. So they are, they've had experience as a team. Albert's double, going for that same move. Oh, good, good flip there by uh, Eo there. Muzo, cover, is this, oh, she wrote, very close. Kyrie got the pin, Mio. Oh, it's just too busy with that other pin. I I don't know if that's playing favorites there. Asuka, no. Very much, Io, Mio Shirai, all due respect, is only one person, two. That's it. Oh, my God, she, <laughs> a little too late there, Kyrie. Konami and Io Shirai. Okay, now she just thinks she's Okada now. All right, well, damn. <laughs> or she thinks she's Darius Carter. I don't fucking know. But there you go. Taking off the win. A little bit too late by Kyrie. Looked like she was going to break it up there, but doesn't quite it. Now, this next match. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what to fucking say about this match. That's, that's all I'm going to say. This is a... Is this a dream match? Probably not. Uh, but... I, I mean... I, it's a match. It's happening. Maki Ito... Taking on Jillian Hall. I can't believe I'm actually fucking saying that. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying that. That is... That is real... That was, Those are real words I just said right now. This was like... The one match I thought, hey, this would be great. You know what I mean? I just thought, fuck it, it'd be funny. Why not? Do I not have Jillian? I do have Jillian. Oh, I fucking skipped over her. You know, oh, come on, you gotta, there we go, battle of the red here. No, I don't want to change the red, fuck off. Uh, this is not semi-main, is it? No, it's not semi-main. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu all right, you gotta turn this off. Okay. So here we go with our third, the final match of the night. Maki Ito, Jillian Hall, Battle of the Singers. Which one's the best? We're going to find out right now. They are not going to sing, by the way. I can't do that with this game. And here comes Maki Ito. Uh, very much a uh, pop star of sorts. Also thinks of herself as the cutest in the world. I'm not going to argue that. Because uh, God forbid... Magito has her own fan base. She has a microphone. Started singing there. And here it comes. This woman has a legitimate album. Jillian Hall. Walking down the ring here. Made her comeback to wrestling, I think, uh, earlier this year. In the Royal Rumble. Now back again to fight Maki Ito. Very impressive stand up there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off with a lockup there between these two. As much as these two, we're gonna see if they have actually are good rivals here, good opponents, or maybe could make a four a good team there. They do have the same color. I mean, we could see these two form a team. They're very much the same. Jillian Hall, uh, former deepest champion. Funny enough, only did not hold the title for a long time, unfortunately, but still a champion. My Ito doesn't really have a lot of accomplishments. Very well known for her singing career. Uh, there's a great video on YouTube discussing the career of Maki Ito, both in and out of the ring. I don't know if that video is still up, but if, if it is, then go check out that video. Very good video talking about Maki Ito. Jillian Hall getting an advantage, though. Jillian Hall had a very interesting career of sorts. Had a mole once. Got eaten by a guy called the Boogeyman. Uh, oh, good cartwheel there. Uh, what's a, what's a, what was she, a secretary? Or whatever she was, some, something like that. For JBL and Eminem. Not the candy. Now I just want some fucking M&Ms now. God damn it. Son of a bitch. 
Well, I should probably go get some M&Ms after this. Maybe I could go after... Maybe I could go get some M&Ms &M 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 after this. Very much, uh... Whoa, good car wheel there. Into an elbow. Mayo Shrai almost got hit by, uh, Jillian Hall there. We'll go. Big up. I Samoa drop. But Jillian Hall, excuse me, I'm fucking sleepy. Big ol' big ol' elbow. Ow, oh, good face fucking crusher there. Cover. Two. Wow. Already getting a two. Very, very dumb. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! All right, well, yeah, that's for true. A little clothesline by Jillian. Back in advantage, goes for a punch, takes down Maki. Goes for another punch, Maki just throwing. Jillian on the outside there, big headbutts and a big old drop kick as well. But Jillian's right back up. And just throws Maki Ito. Holy fucking shit. Big old... Don't tell, don't, Maki's signaling that it might be over here. Sending Jillian to the corner to go over a tree of Joey Lawrence. Whoa. And a big old forearm to the face and a drop kick does not connect. Jillian taunts. Into the corner. I'm tired. And a big old clubbing forearm to the face. But a running bulldog counters that. Maki's back up though. Big old drop kick by Ito. The self-proclaimed cutest in the world. She sends Jillian to the corner there. But Jillian returns the favor. Ten minutes have already eluded in this match. Very quick ten minutes. Over stomps to the gut. And a snap suplex. Maki Ito. On the advantage right yet again of clubbing for him to the face. Samoan drop by Jillian. And she gets right back up. Does it go for the pin though? And a good good form there. Maki going for a running bulldog. Big old headbutt as well. Punches Jillian in the face there. Sends Jillian to the outside there. But Jillian gets right back in. Slap across the face and a forearm. They're exchanging here. Clothesline. Drop kick by Maki Ito. Winning the exchange. Pulling Jillian from the ropes. Doesn't go for end. a pinfall though. Instead just pulls her right back down by the hair. And big ol' suplex. Jillian right back in the advantage here. And a clubbing forearm to the back. Referee Mio Shirai doing a sick lap. One to the face. Maki Ito back on the advantage here. Big old drop kick by Maki to Jillian. Jillian takes down Maki anyways. And a clubbing forearm to the face, returning the favor. Drop kick by Maki Ito. Kick to the gut. Reversing. Backslide. Center of the ring. Very close. <coughs> oh my god. Very, very close there. Backslide again. This is it. That's it, Maki Ito wins the battle of the singers. The cutest in the world picks up the win. And this is not the song, but fuck it. Not much we can do. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a little message to attend to. I got a 96. Well, yeah, there you go. Maki Ito proving... That she do be the cutest in the world. Picking up that win against Julie Hall. But right now we're going to go to our semi-main event. Julia taking on Bailey. This one is uh, going to be a little interesting here. This could be an interesting match here. Of course, these two kind of been... Uh, not, I guess... I mean, Bailey's had a great... I mean, last year was Bailey's fucking year. I mean... If you, if you know, you know, but I had a great year. But here we go, Julia, Bailey, semi-main event. Let's fucking do it. As for usual, hope you all are enjoying the show. Very much, very much love doing these. Here comes the crazed beauty, the leader of Donda del Mundo, Julia 
coming out to a song oh my god this is I mean people there are people that are not quite fans of Julia uh the very much this kind of does come off as a Goldberg-esque theme very very elegant theme but here comes Bailey as I mentioned last year 2020 arguably her best year really putting on great matches with almost everybody on the WWE roster specifically the women because they're WWEs are cowards and they won't judge your gender. Of course, the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion coming to that ring right now. Here we go. This is one of the matches you've all been waiting for. Julia and Bailey. Julia, somebody going for that pin already. You have to, I mean, Julia, all the respect. You gotta do more than that. Julia has very much exclu ex you know, oozes confidence. And some people, like like others here in Mission Pro, could be seen as ego. But this is the time to put up or shut up for both of these women here. Bailey, not that much different. Even to the point she calls herself a role model, very much has that same amount of confidence that could, you know, it, it could be seen as more than that, really, you know? Bailey, of course, as I mentioned, longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champ, won the title back in 2000 and late 2019, held it almost throughout 2020 until I, I think almost a year later, losing that title to Sasha Banks at Hell in a Cell. Of course, around that same time, she became uh, once again held the women's tag team titles, becoming a two-time women's tag team champion. Also helped Sasha Banks become a five-time Raw Women's Champion around that same time as well. As I mentioned, she basically has fought the whole women's roster in WWE. Almost probably everybody. Oh, STF! Shut the fuck! No, doesn't get it though. Does not tap out. Elbow to the upper back. Big boot by Julia. And a big roll up cover. Whoa, very close. Very close. We could see we could have seen uh Julia pull off an upset here. Holy shit. Go for the pin, is that it? No, of course. I mean come on, Ben. Julia, I don't think she should uh be doubting uh Bailey here. You know, a very much different bonus. Oh my oh my fucking god! <laughs> Holy Shit, okay, it looked like a twister there. Tombstone pile driver. Julia doing some crazy shit. Going for that pin on the chest. No, big kick out by Bailey. Goes for that tombstone again. Drags Bailey. Goes for that pin again. Cover. No, very much still in it. Is Bailey. You don't count out Bailey yet. Big punch to the head of Julia. And. Julia could be returning the favor here. Doesn't. Doesn't quite. Going for that arm. Punch to the to the head. What the hell is this? Tombstone! Going for that pin. One, two. Very close. Very, very close. Does not get it though. Julia. The crazed beauty herself. Is uh not quite doing it. Belly to belly to Bailey! Cover two. Holy God! And a tombstone again. Is this it? Several times we've seen this. Julia does it. Julia pulls off the upset and wins the match, defeating Bailey. Holy shit! She did it. Does it in ten minutes too, no less. Holy crap! I mean, there you go, Julia. She knew what she was doing. And she wanted to make her known. But tonight, right now, is our main event. This is the match I'm sure everyone's been waiting for. And this is the match you're getting. This is, of course, Naomi taking on Jade Cargill. We've seen both of these women before. Naomi fought Jacqueline at the first ever take or come together. Saw that happen. Jade Cargo also took on Bianca Belair, but tonight they're gonna main event here. And quite 
quite a match here. This is, to some people, this is a fucking dream match. Jay Cargill, as I've mentioned before, very much in her rookie years of the business, but very much as a, a natural rookie, sort of a like a Kurt Angle, just knows the wrestling business, has the A game, just really gets it. You know, she, I, people will never know what it is, but she has it, and it is there. Jade Cargill, Naomi, your main event for the second Come Together show. Let's fucking do it. This is <clears throat> this is gonna be an interesting match. My fucking throat is killing me right now. <clears throat> and here comes Naomi coming out here. Last week or not last week? I fucking stupid. On our eighth show. She fought against Jacqueline in a dream match of sorts. This is also kind of seen as a dream match as well. Going for a different look. Naomi, you could, there's one thing you'd always know with Naomi. She's always going to have a look of sorts to impress the crowd. But here comes Jade Cargill. Very much, as I mentioned, a natural in the wrestling business. Just a, only a rookie, no less. Just has does not have a lot of the experience... Uh, much like our other, her other opponents, but she could pull off an upset here and defeat Naomi. That'd be something. Here we go. Center of the ring. Quick little fireman's carry there. And a big old club for him. Jade Cargill has the height advantage in this match. Very much, much like to all of her other opponents, has that height advantage. But Naomi, cover. She's no slacker either. Naomi's seen it all and experienced all as well been in the business for a long time seen as one of the biggest underrated wrestlers here tonight she gets to shine she gets to show that glow against jade cargill here her elbow to the upper back there goes for the leg but jade cargill's right back up kick to the gut cover doesn't hook the leg. Should have. Really should have hooked that leg there, but just didn't bother to do so. Big shoulder tackle by Naomi. And a kick to the gut and a stomp on the lower back as well. Ducks under. We'll bump into each other, though. They're exchanging punches. Jade Cargo wins the exchange, but falls down immediately. He's right back up, though. Big reversal there by Naomi. Going for a suplex. Elbow to the upper back, or upper head. Cover. No, doesn't get it. Big, big move there. Forearm, so uh, multiple forearms to the face of Naomi. Big old, I just sends, oh my, my god, Naomi's getting on the advantage. Showing that veteran experience to Jade Cargill here. A little clothesline. And a fall away slam. This is a... This is your main event, ladies and gentlemen. I want to mention this as well. I mean, we've... Yeah, this is uh, another... You know, last week we saw a very crazy main event. Uh, Neil Diamond Cutter winning the Gold Bowl title against Ace Austin. Uh, of course, Neil Diamond Cutter not here tonight... As per usual, ten pound should get in the back in that ring. They're are, are this gonna end in a count out? No, they're back in. Neil Diamond Cutter, of course, won the Gold Bowl title uh, against Ace Austin, knocking him out. We could see Ace Austin get his rematch. Holy shit, bitch clamp cover one two. Holy shit, that was close. I mean, we could as I mentioned, anything could happen here, Machete Pro. And also, I mean, Keith Lee also has that Gladiator Bolt uh, title shot. We thought we would, we could have seen Keith Lee take on Ace Austin, but you know, Neil Diamond Cutter could do. Ace Austin is kind of in line for a rematch, but also Maiko Satomura as well never got that rematch for the title. And another bitch clamp by Jade Cargill. Cover two gets the job done. Jade Cargill wins in the main. 